Excuse me guys, I'm just out here tinkering with this Honda HS720. It doesn't quite run right. It sputters and coughs. I'm just thinking it might have some water in the tank from sitting. So I'm just going to put my little sicker upper drainer hooser on here and get this gas out of here. And it's really nice if you can just get everything set right. Look at that baby go. You got to get it just right though. See? <laughs> okay, so that's close. Back does that tank go? Can I tilt it to get a little more? Yes, I can. A little small piece of wood. Might as well wipe the tank out good, right? Now let's have a look and see if there's anything left in there. Nary a drop. Now, I think we can start it up and run it right out. Pardon me, I'm in my sweatpants. Gas on. Engine switch. Fuel valve. On. Off. On. Good. So it should start and we'll just run the last bit of gas out of here. There should be a tiny bit of gas left in it. Okay, now it's out of fuel. Okay, I'm just going to check and see if there's any water in this gas. I don't think so. A few chunks, which is respectable. I'm just going to filter it. And these chop rags do a great job of that, you guys. Can you see what I'm doing?
No water. Great. You know, I just might, that's pretty good fuel. Oh, there's a stick in there. So that carburetor probably needs to be cleaned, eh? Only runs on choke. Partial choke. Now, where am I going to put that fuel? I think in my fuel tank. It's premium. I know it's premium. Which means in Alberta here, that means there's no, uh, there's no ethanol in it. Yeah, let's do that. It's getting near the end of the season. It's a little yellow. But there's no water in it, so let's go for it. Good. That's all the fuel I got left for a while, so. You know what? Let's test it. All right, I hope you can see. I'm going to just fill this up with water, and if the level changes, we know, we know that there's ethanol in here. It doesn't take any time. They say leave it sit, but... Okay, I'll come back when it's a couple minutes. Okay, there's no ethanol in that fuel. It never changed a bit. It was a tiny bit low and it's still low. Right on. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is the gas that has come out of this little Honda HS720. It's the uh, single stage Honda snow thrower with the rubber paddles. I think, uh, hopefully you got to see it when it was running rough. I, uh, I thought it might be water, but it isn't. So I got to figure out how to get that carburetor out of there without getting a hernia. I wonder if I could turn it on end already. Let's see, one, two, three, Four bolts there, and then there'll be something underneath there, I'm sure. So let's just get these four off of here. Oh, might have to feed. This is the problem with these: is you got to take the screen off the uh, what do you call it? The shoot off too. Looks like tens. But first, I'm going to land it on. Are you guys watching this? Yes, you are. I'm going to put this on its nose. See if there's something I can learn. Yeah, the carburetor is okay. tubes, carburetor. It's right behind here, which means this has to come off, which means that has to come off. My friend Mike owns this. And excuse me, the ultrasonic cleaner is chugging away in the background for a different project. I don't know if I can leave the door open or not. I got the heat on, the door open. What size are those? They look like 10s or 11s or 12s. Oh, they're 10s. Go figure. Okay, let's start with... You know what? I want to use a longer can. We have options. And we are recording. Yes, we are. Okay. Here we go. Phillips screwdriver and there's three of them. 
I think this JIS is too long. And when I say JIS, I mean Japanese Industrial Standard. It's a different Phillips than your standard Phillips. And I'll show you in just one second. I can't, I can't stop myself. I have to, I have to nat natter and talk. Good. Okay. This one might not have it. We'll get there. Okay, we got two more to do. And we can probably look. Hey, okay, I should do this, right? Thank you, Stella. Good. It's on the floor. It's a great place for a screw to land, especially when you're doing internal cavity work, right? No, I didn't mean like that. something to hold these screws and stuff. Let's just use this tray. That's coming off. I think this has been taken off before. Here, let's get little piles. Left to right. Now I'm going to lift up on this, see if it comes. Oh, one over here. Just to get to the carburetor, eh? You can hear my mind cussing. Why won't that come off? Might be a 10 millimeter on the other side. My gosh. Okay. I guess I should use the shorter one down there. Like, ooh, that's hot. Uh, I hate rubbing stuff, eh? Whew, that's hot. Well, now we know what to do with the other one. Can you see me? Ah, that's hard, guys. So I warned my buddy Mike that these things take a lot of disassembly. Okay, that should come off now. Uh, good, 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 good. Okay. We're cooking with gas. We can have a better look at this now to see what it really looks like, eh? Muffler, muffler there, spark plug, overhead valve, drive, the spark plug, the carburetor is still hidden by this cover now. But that's okay, I think we can, how badly is that? Tied down. Looks like uh, one there, and one over here, except for the controls. Right? There's the choke, gas, oh, that's good, and then the uh, 
electrical on and off, which is just on these unplugged connectors. We're going to be all right. Yeah, we're going to be okay. All we have to do is unplug the switch right there. Now you can watch again. We unplugged the switch. Now turn down the heat. All right, let's get this wires cut off this tie wrap here. And that should be a disconnectable. Yes, sorry, Bob. Green goes to green. Black goes to black, sort of, kind of. All right, two more 10 millimeters. I like the long one, eh? Excuse me. All I'm trying to do is get to the carburetor because I know it's clogged. Hope you're watching, Mikey. Hey! Now! Return to Pender! Excellent! Let's turn on the compressor. The compressor doesn't leak much. They all leak a little. Okay. What do we got here? Very simple. I'm just going to have a look at this and then I'll show you. Come to this side. Can you see? Choke. See that? Now, snow blowers do not have air cleaners. So this is just a box. There's the fuel shut off. So if we had gas in the tank, we could just do that and turn off the fuel. Uh, nice and clean. Uh, there's the there's the throttle lever and governor, and the the bolts for the carburetor are underneath here. So we'll take this bolt off, that bolt off over there, right there, and then this thing should be a Z bend for the choke, and just a tiny little Z bend spring activated damper spring for the throttle. Very, very nice operation. Once you get to it, right, that's the key, is getting all that stuff off and getting to this point. But it was very nice. Uh, they had pre-hole drilled for the, for the gas. They had a hole drilled for the choke. So we just pulled the cover off. We didn't have to uh, get our fingers in here too bad. This is a nice unit, Mike. I've never worked on one of uh, this size. It's a bigger one and uh, it has all of the gizmo goggies that a mechanic likes. Okay, back on our little Honda 720, HS720. I'm going to put a little bit of fuel in the tank. I did wipe it out nice. This is ethanol free fuel. That's all I use. Right? And we're just going to run a little bit of gas through the carburetor first on this end. The carburetor has a drain. I don't know if you can see it. Hello. That was Mrs. P. We're going to let a little bit of gas go to this screw here. You see that? Oh yeah. I want to catch that. See if it's any sponge. See if there's any sponge bunnies coming out of the bottom of that. I should have done that first. So these are nice little carburetors because they uh, they actually drain. Oh, turn it on. There, we're flowing now. We'll do a midstream sample. Looks good. Now, I wonder if I can run this guy right like the way it is.
so it's close. So I'm going to take the bowl off this guy and we're going to clean the emulsion tube. The jet and the emulsion tube. Whoop! I should never talk when I'm jacking up a lawnmower. Snow blower. Any kind of blower. Okay, we're going to be working right in here. That's going to work. How's our life? We're good. And that is going to be a 10 millimeter to take that bowl off of there. We're going to get a uh, ratchet wrench. And turn the gas on. We'll drain the fuel. It helped to drain the fuel. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Just because. I'm going to see now if anything came out of that because I had, I had it running. That's what these, like my friend Ken says, that's what these little screws are for, is to drain the carburetor, eh? And that's amazing. That's all they hold. I'll show you. I'll get this closed. That's all they hold. Slight bit murky. Okay, I'm going to take that bowl off of there. Are you with me? Socket. Excuse me. Ratchet. I'll put this up here. Hey Mike, this is the truth. Okay, it's clean. Just a little tiny bit of scunge in the bottom of that. Now we're going to get the jet out. Jet, jet, jet. What screwdriver do I use for that? If I can use this one, I will. Excuse me, I know I'm crossing back and forth in front of you. So I need this fine little guy from my friend Mr. Jim Yeski. I don't want to take the carburetor off unless I absolutely have to. What else have I got? This guy right here. Tilt them on end. Now the gas is closed. This is off. I can. I, I can tilt it on end and lower it down. Without having to do the 120 pound clean and jerk. Now I can get at that. Let's bring you in. One more trick up my sleeve.
Don't run away. Oh, I got it. I'm talking to you so you don't get bored and go and leave me. There. You do what you got to do in this world. So, a flat blade, an adapter to a quarter inch socket. You know it's coming out, I can't believe it. Good. Yep. Here's my spudger from my old job. Let's see if I can pull that out. It has to be right there. Yes it is. How am I going to get that out of there? I'm going to tilt it back up and see if it will fall out. There it is. Now I just want to get the... I got it, eh? Now, I just want the emulsion tube to fall out. So that's our jet. Now come with me. Oh, it doesn't look plugged to me, but it might be. You can see through it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe you can see through it. Okay, now we've got to get that emulsion tube out of there. It's actually doing very well. I'm going to try and just bump it out. She weren't there. I just bumped it out with on the side of the carburetor and it fell out. So now we're just going to clean the emulsion tube. And the jet. There ain't the if. Can you see that right there? Yes, you can. Okay, so I'll be right back. So in a lot of cases when I'm cleaning a jet, I like to go up one size so that it's just almost tight, but not too tight. It's hard to say it, but you know, it's hard. I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. That should work well. Now, the emulsion tube. It actually looks quite dirty to me. Yeah, it is. It's supposed to shoot out of every little hole. I wonder if I got a better one than that. There's three on that side, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six on this side. So I won't, I'll just do one. One, and I'll do the other six and I'll come back. Thank you. All right, I might have enlarged this one by, a, you know, a half of a thousandth of an inch. And this is the emulsion tube and I can see all five holes when I hold it up to the light. So the next job now is to get this back in the carburetor. The carburetor is there. Let's bring it over. Stand it on in without hitting the camera. Okay. So we got to get the emulsion tube in first. And we'll clean the bowl too, eh? Emulsion tube in. And we'll use, uh, I got a screwdriver I can reach. Ah. We'll use this little guy. Does it work? We're taking it out.
Good. And then we put the jet in. I hope I didn't over oversize the jet. Jeez, I don't think I did. I just went such a small amount. It's going in. Good. Now I'll get my little socket set up here. We'll go to tighten. Ah. Good. And we'll just do a small tighten on that guy. I like to do it three times. I like to do a tighten. A loosen. Now two is enough. And then a tighten. Good. Make sure everything comes out. Bowl. It's pretty clean. And it had the screw facing this direction over here. About there. And the bolt. Oh, hold on. I want to do one more thing. Yikes, I just about forgot. On the top of the carburetor is the uh, idler screw. Yeah, come on. I don't want to bang my camera. There we go. GIS screwdriver. These are actually really nice carburetors. Squirt some juice down in there. That'll do. Frustrating. I don't believe it. No, it's not going in. <sighs> okay, I'll be right back. All right, we've got the uh, bowl put back on with the jet and the emulsion tube. And I'm just going to drain a little bit of gas out of there. should start and hopefully not surge. So choke. The switch is off because that means those two aren't touching together. And uh, gas is on, should start. still surging under no load so that means I'm gonna take the carburetor off and put it through the carb washer turn off the gas and I'm gonna run it through my ultrasonic cleaner to see if we can get it to stop surging so you guys can see that now eh? we're gonna pull this carburetor off here oh that's a long one We have a, we don't have to worry about the gas line. We do have to worry about the choke coming off. It doesn't happen very often in a small engine guy's life. There we go. Carburetor is off. Just gonna undo the fuel. And I should come off with my hand. Good. All right. That up against there maybe or even let's see how we want to do this we want stuff to drain do we take the do we take the jet out again yes I think we should good we want it to drain out of the bigger holes so the bigger holes are kind of on this end of the there we go like that well I think we can get in there at an angle 
the jet, the motion tube, and the uh, needle are in here. And we'll just do it. Thanks. I'm just going to stick it into the uh, ultrasonic cleaner now. Alright guys, this is the second time working on this carburetor. You're getting familiar with this uh, pressure device. I'll hold it, see if I can hold it properly for you. And we're up to 8 pounds. Perfect. And I'll just show you something quick. This is a, a gas tube from an old Honda lawnmower. And it has a, a quarter inch on one end, or whatever the, me the metric size is, and three sixteenths on the other. So it has two different size holes for testing quarter inch output out of this tester. Cool! And he asked me to check the spark plug. So it's just surging what I call a very minor amount. Probably a little better after the carburetor was cleaned. Now I'm just going to check this dpr 5 es spark plug for gas. Owner said he did it with an old rusty one. That's going to get warm, eh? <laughs> so it's running a little lean and idle. And I'm not going to drill out that, uh, what do you call it? I'm not going to drill out the... Woohoo! Yeah, it's running a little bit lean. Look at that. But I'll clean it up. And now I just gotta reassemble it. I'll come back when I start putting some bolts in or even after I'm done. FYI, Hondas are 28 thousandths. Yeah, that's pretty darn close, eh? And not 30. Uh, I believe this thing is with the switch connect. And it's going to be just two bolts. You guys getting any of this? Yeah. Next big piece of plastic. I'm going to get the gas tank flange over top. missing two. And then these guys, two of them have nuts. socket in there and hold that. Okay, so you know I've almost got it now, right? Alright, we're just tightening things up now. On the chute. Just a half a turn. 
insert on each one here. They're fiber, fiber nuts, eh? I got these two earlier. They have a nut underneath them. Gas tank lid. Now we should have on and off. Choke. Fuel is... Uh, let me see now. Fuel is on right now. So if we choke it and it's turned on electrically, we should be able to turn it on. I just don't know if he wants me to change the oil. I'm going to just look at it. I think he already did it. Yeah, it looks perfect. It's got a little surge, just like 99% of pressure washers and little blowers. And but it runs and it doesn't backfire anymore. Hmm, likes to choke, eh? Runs as good as it can. There we go. I ended up cleaning that carburetor twice. Once when it was on the machine and once into my ultrasonic cleaner. And I did remount the uh, main jet. Just not even. I probably just took out the gas varnish on it, you know? And I don't want to go anymore because once you go too far, then these things flood themselves. Right now it's running just a tad lean. But once you hit the go button and hit the snow, then they really run good. So anyway, oops, there we go. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll talk to you later.